Business leaders have a substantial impact on the performance of their employees, but their responsibilities can make it hard to effectively drive high quality performance. Managers are responsible for ensuring team success, creating a positive atmosphere and solving complex problems among others. These varied responsibilities can quickly become unbalanced and a sudden shift in the market could take leaders' attention away from their teams. This can then lead to a drop in productivity. Well, leaders can stabilize their own resources by adopting various leadership styles. On the show today, we will focus on boosting employee performance through organizational leadership. Welcome to Business Insights and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. Uh, first off, more often than not, businesses are fixated on growth. However, experts are taxing entrepreneurs on audits to ensure healthiness of their ventures. This came up on the sidelines of the Lean Simple Strategy Growth Conference, which held in Lagos. Details in this report. We're not about growth, we're about health. Not conducting regular health checks at business can have severe consequences, which can lead it to lag behind the competition instead of dominating. At this conference, the focus is on getting useful strategies to ensure a healthy business and growth. Author and entrepreneur Ezekiel Solisi, who wants participants not only to network or get inspired, believes an understanding of the macro economy as well as strategy is paramount. For example, what happens that most people think about business growth and they're really thinking about, oh, growth at any cost is good. But cancer is growth, right? You could grow to death. The idea here is to make sure that as we're growing, we're positioning, we're auditing, we're making sure that we're actually healthy. With 70% of entrepreneurs developing from the street, there is need for caution. As experts say, their survival can be measured after they have survived 10 years. The guide for any businessman, knowing very well that no matter what you do, no matter how much you have, um, how much, uh, how much you have in your bank account, you must have the 10 year strategy in mind. Five years, 90% of the business that start will die, and then the 10 that survives will go on through another five years, and then 90% of the 10 will also die. That means only businesses that start, only one will survive after 10 years. The first thing is the mindset to know that whatever happens in the economy, your business can thrive. And then the second thing is to go out there and find the knowledge find the strategy and be courageous enough to execute on whatever is you found. As some businesses gasp for survival, other strategists advise entrepreneurs to have a successor plan while envisioning the future of their ventures. What is your plan for that business? So I think that it's important that people begin to think about it long term. Yes, sometimes we're looking at the situation and then there's this mentality of founder, owner, Chairman, you know, I want to be the founder. You can still be the founder, but not necessarily run the business. So some doctors, you know, you could be a doctor, you are a, you are a surgeon. Doesn't mean you have what it takes to run a hospital. You must have an administrator. First of all, look at the areas you faulted or the areas you didn't do well. That is where to start from. Build on those ones and upgrade. Then the ones that are already working, those ones are just to water, more like give it a, a breath of life and, you know, it will keep growing. And this is where the healthy business comes in. Every business has an evolution time with different demands for different places. However, to achieve results, experts say it has to look at execution of key priorities, including building capacities and individual effectiveness of their team.